Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27788. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is previewing Windows Media Services, which which is a tool for musicians and also a tool that Microsoft is stating is a strong foundation for future expansion and enhancement. There's also a new class driver and also an app SDK and tools that you can test out on this latest Canary build. More info about this in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested. Also, if you're logged in to devices with the same OneDrive account, you will have the ability to resume OneDrive files in one click from your phone to your PC and continue your work Work where you left off. This is working the best with Office products. Of course, there are a few other requirements to this, but you can also check those out on the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested, as we've talked about this feature a while ago. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft is adding a new option inside Accounts and sign-in options related to the File Explorer, and that is automatically save my restartable apps and restart them when I sign back in, which is related to the File Explorer option, which you can find if you click on these three dots, Options, View, and then you're going to have the option Restore or previous folder windows at logon. This feature and the feature before on this build are not new features. They were a part of the last build as well. So as discovered by Phantom of Earth, Microsoft added them in this build, but they are a thing since the last build. Also related to backups, if you get a notification or a pop-up in the File Explorer address bar, we're gonna have an option to snooze or completely turn off the backup reminder from the File Explorer address bar. Related to settings, Microsoft is starting to roll out the settings homepage for commercial customers on PCs managed by an IT administrator. The feature will show some existing cards relevant to enterprise managed PCs like recommended settings and Bluetooth devices, as well as two new enterprise specific device info and accessibility preferences cards. For commercial customers who use their Microsoft account on their managed PC, there will also be a new accounts card indicating the presence of both work and school and Microsoft account types. Microsoft is starting the rollout of this gradually with managed commercial PCs who have both work and school and Microsoft accounts presently seeing this experience first. We're also getting a new Microsoft Store update. You can go into the Microsoft Store, go to Downloads and get updates to get the latest updates. But the new things in this update are some improved installation options for games, which will allow you to install individual components for some games. For example, Call of Duty and Halo can let you install or not install high resolution textures for the campaign. You can also go back after the installation and customize or modify the components which are installed. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. Microsoft fixed an issue in this build, which was causing multiple surfaces, including the taskbar, search settings, and lock screen to crash for a small number of insiders. Fixed an issue, which was causing some insiders to have a system service exception bug check in the latest build. Fixed an issue where the description for virtual NICs wasn't displayed correctly in ncpa.cpl. It showed garbled characters. Fixed an underlying issue, which could cause scanning apps to not detect a scanner, although one was already connected. And improved the colors using MMC when items are selected, both generally and when contrast modes are enabled. We also have a few new known issues. For example, if you see an error trying to install this build along with a fail.net update, click on retry and not on the net update and the build should install. Also inside settings, the home page of settings may crash. If you're impacted by this, you should still be able to open specific pages directly by searching from them from the taskbar. Of course, there are also another few known issues, but you can check those out on the official Microsoft blog post. But this this was the video for today and this was the build 27788. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. This is Manuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.